Welcome back to Media Brands TV, powered by Microsoft. We're joined today by Stefan Olander, Global Director of Brand Connections at Nike. Nike is an iconic brand, so you know, you haven't made any missteps in the digital space. What are your rules of engagement for digital? How do you stay on top? How do you stay relevant with the new digital velocity? You know, I think it starts with really developing things that, that have a purpose uh, rather than it just being there for the sake of being there. And I think as new tools and opportunities we're developing, we didn't really look at them as, uh, <clears throat> as a way to utilize, to, to stuff things in front of people, but rather how could you use them as a service, how could you use them to make things better? And I think that philosophy and understanding people helps you get into a better place rather than um, as mobile was taking off a few years ago, there were a lot of discussion about how can you cram advertising and TV ads into mobile, whereas we looked at it sort of tried to say how, how can we use it in the context of, of, of a sport you like and, and, and use it to make things better for you. Do you have an example of how you've done that? I think uh, we did uh, the Ballers Network for basketball where, you know, the understanding that kids play basketball every day, you know, the uh, organizing of them is sometimes a hassle where you kind of, you got to call people, you text people, you email them, and we thought, well, what if we created a service where, you know, that helps keep that, all of that in one place, and we developed it with Facebook, and we developed a mobile application of it, so you can now get, you know, who's in, you know, who's out, you know, where the game is, it's integrated with Google Maps, and, and things like that, you know, is, is, is for us a better use of the technology. So is Nike on Twitter or can I find you on Facebook? Are you on all the social nets? Yeah, I think wherever we find that there is a purpose and a reason for being, you will, you will find us. And, and I think that, that that is a big thing. We don't jump into a new space only to be there to say that we've been there. But, but if we find that you know, we can use it to make things better, we, 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 will, we will be there. So when we were talking before, I told you that you know my husband has loved Nike his whole life since he was a little kid. Nike has, I think, a lot of consumers that feel that way, that have really been with you from the start. So how do you keep Nike fresh? How do you keep it relevant and true to your core consumers over all of these years, all of these different iterations of the brand and the developments in marketing? I think, first of all, you know, we're a sports brand and sports is ever fresh. You know, there'll always be a new amazing player, an amazing athlete, an amazing team, and, and, and we work with them. And they help, I think, keep us fresh. We, we develop amazing product, you know, by tapping into those athletes, and, and we have take great passion in really developing the world's best products for this. And then digital becomes a, a, a bonding tissue, if you will, uh, between all those things, where, you know, we, we, we look at that and we look at advertising as a way to stay culturally relevant, socially relevant, um, tapping into to, to the world of youth. And, and that energy combined with sports uh, helps you stay fresh and relevant. And, and I think that's, that's uh, kind of the, the, the way we approach it. So what about you two? Do you have a Nike channel? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that that's I think pretty much automatic whenever someone puts out a piece of, 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 of a video content that it goes on YouTube. But, you know, we don't have to do that. It takes 10 seconds and there'll be cons consumers that will have uploaded it uh, the, the second it, 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 it appears anywhere else. But absolutely, we, we have our channels and we maintain them and it's a fantastic tool. It's also, I think, the comments you get there are great, they're candid and they give you a pretty good sense of whether or not you're striking a chord. So would you say that you're able to use social nets as kind of a sounding board? Um, do you hear a lot from your consumers? Um, do you benefit from their perspectives? Yeah, absolutely. I think you know the, the unfiltered, unbiased uh, feedback helps us a lot. I think it keeps you honest. Yeah. So Nike hasn't been afraid of that? <clears throat> no, I, I think you cannot be afraid of that because you know there's there's no way there's no way to to stop it and no way to I don't think we would want to. It's just something you can learn a lot from, so why not, you know? Wonderful. Well thank you for Thanks being here. Thank, thank you. you. We have Stefan Olander from Nike.